everybody what's going on this is Laura and welcome to my channel um, today I'm going to share with you a story time video <laughs> and if you can tell by the title it's crazy um, so if you want to hear about the time that I went whitewater rafting and it wasn't <clears throat> epic fail then keep watching okay guys so this happened um, 2009 yeah, it was, mm -mm. I just lied. This happened 2007. Um, in 2007, I was in college and we went on a singles retreat. Um, you know, they always want us singles to fellowship with each other and, you know, feel better about our singleness, you know? Mm. So anyway, we had went on this singles, re singles retreat and we went to Tennessee. I went to school in Georgia and, um, the place we went, uh, I think it's called POA or something like that. I'll try to remember to put it in the description box if I can. Um, but basically, it is the same place where they shot the movie, the same river that they shot the movie Deliverance. Uh, I think that's the movie, like with the dueling banjos. I think that's Deliverance. If it's not, oh well. But it's the same movie with the dueling banjos, okay? So just think dueling banjos, and that's where I was. Um, so we're on the, um, we go there for this trip, and we are meeting with the instructor before we even go out onto the river or anything. We have to watch a video. Uh, we kind of have to learn, like, just the different things that you have to do in case of an emergency. And an emergency being, like, if you flip over or anything like that. And so, at this particular time, there weren't a lot of, like, there wasn't a lot of water in the river, I guess, because it was a drought or, you know, it hadn't really rained that much. Um, so, there was a lot of rocks. And then some of the rapids were, like, like level fives, I think, is, like, the most dangerous <laughs> rapids. And then there were quite a few level ones. But we all had to, you know, get into teams and... Um, I was in a group with, I think there were there were three of us in our group. So we needed to be in groups of four, but we just happened to be the group with three. And so um, there are also two instructors that got in our boat as well. One got in so that we could have four people. And then the other got in as like a like the teacher, like the navigator. Such they always always have one of those at the back of the boat. So we are on this raft and we're going and there are two of us who are plus size, me and another lady and we were, I'm sorry, it was two of us that were plus size and then two really small girls. So in the raft there was in the back um, one of the other ladies, one of the other plus size ladies and then a really small lady and then in front of them was a small lady and then me. So we kind of balanced um, the weight of the raft. So we're going and at first everything is smooth sailing. It was great. I was having a good time. You know, a little bit of water was splashing in but I didn't care because I had on my wetsuit so I thought I was good to go. Baby, we, um, they told us, they said, okay, this is like one of the level five level four rapids so it's almost a level five but not quite as dangerous and i'm like okay we can do it and i'm really trying to like pep talk my groom like yes let's go let's go let's go let's do it because one of the girls had been slipping on her pimping like she was not even rowing and stuff and it was just like okay what the hell do you think you're gonna do just sitting here like you need to help contribute okay so i was like all right y'all we're about to hit this rapid like we gotta get it we gotta kill it because not only that uh not only are we going through this rapid um you can only go like one at a time and remember i said that there were like a whole there was a whole group of us so we were the last group to actually take the rapid so the rest of them were, you know, like waiting on top of the cliff so that they could watch us. And, you know, during this whole process, there are people videoing. Um, there's like a photographer that is just there with our group um, capturing everything. So 
we get in our raft and we start going down this rapid and you know i'm like all right y'all let's go let's go and then the the guide he's in the back he's like all right y'all all right ladies let's go and we're getting it and we're counting and then the waters kind of shifted a little bit and kind of pushed us up on the rock we were like mm. we could not get off this rock and the the tour guy said i'm gonna have to flip us and i was like no please don't flip us what are we gonna do like i don't want to die so we started rowing a little bit more and he was like okay okay i think i think we got it so we started going and we got off of the rock but as soon as we got off a rock off the rock the the rabbit was like a big whirlpool so it's like a like a spin cycle of a washing machine basically and um that was all she wrote we flipped um and we were still kind of on the rock but not all the way on the rock so my side there's pictures you'll see a picture but my side <laughs> was you know on the rock and so we kind of went over this way and as I'm going over, I kind of fall like diagonally. And so all I see as I am plummeting out of the raft is the other plus size lady's face like this. As I fall on top of her. <laughs> I felt so bad. Like, oh my gosh. And... I mean, I know I probably shouldn't feel bad for falling. It was an accident, but geez, Louise, I wouldn't want somebody fat ass falling on me. So I was just like, ugh. And then I got off like I could finally move because the raft was on top of us. Like as we, after we flipped, the raft was on top of us. And so once they got the raft off of us, one of the girls was kind of like drifting away in the river. So they had to go get her. Uh, I stood up, but they were like, get down. Cause you're not supposed to stand up. And I was like, oh my gosh. And as I lay down, I start to drift away. So they throw me a freaking rope. I grab the rope and then they pull me to this uh, big rock. And as I get to the rock, um, they're like, okay, you got to climb to the top, but you can't walk. You need to crawl. Are you serious? I have to crawl all the way to the top of this rock, which is not just like, you know, two or three inches. No, this joker is like 10 feet. And I have to crawl up and then um, to the stairs. And then there were stairs that took me to the top of the, the hill or the mountain where everybody else was watching us fall to our deaths, <laughs> almost. Um, so that was pretty devastating. And I was just like, okay. Woosa. Now, I would love to say that that is the end of the story. Oh no, because we still had to finish. There's no opportunity to just stop. You got to keep going. So we finally get it together and we finally continue to go on our adventure. And we are at the last rapid, which happens to be a doozy now mind you there's this one girl um who is just not pulling her weight at all and like i know i yelled at her like five times like you need to fucking row i didn't say fucking but you need to row because i don't want to die because of you girl come on get it together like i still don't i mean i like her but mm, i still remember that but anyway we got to the last rapid, which is another class four rapid. And guess what happened? We got stuck again. This time we didn't, um, we didn't flip all the way. Um, we were able to stay upright, but we did almost flip again. Um, we just had to end up with a lot of water in our boat and we had to get buckets, right? Out of our raft, we had to get buckets that had buckets in there. We had to get those and like, dump the water out of the raft otherwise we're gonna flip again and it was just like so crazy and i will never white water raft again it is not my thing i'm not adventurous like that and i could care less if somebody invited me white rider rafting again 
I be like, I have to politely decline because who's not gonna do that is me. So if you're interested in going whitewater rafting, first of all, make sure you're going with people who are gonna pull their weight because when they don't, it affects you in such a negative way because you could fall and get hurt. Hello, I did. I didn't get hurt. Shit, my pride was hurt because all of the other 15, 20 people that were there saw and they got pictures and video. And the thing is, is that I didn't post the pictures to Facebook. Somebody else did and tagged me in them. And that was before you could like take tags off your name. What? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm just telling you guys, if you are not one adventurous, two physically athletic, three with people who really who you really trust and know that will do what they need to do, then go whitewater rafting because you're going to get messed up. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you really like that story. Um, if you would like to hear more stories like that, comment down below and just let me know uh, if you want to hear some more of my adventures. I'm planning on making my um, video about the time that I went skiing. Uh, so that will be hilarious as well. Um, also, please make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, click the little bell so that you can receive notifications whenever I post. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.